Welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles, awesome people. It's Melissa, and it's once again New Game Wednesday. How y'all doing? How has your week been progressing? Hope everything is going good. I comments, I love them. I love you guys, and you guys are what make this whole thing fun. And because it is New Game Wednesday, I have a new game for you. Now this game came out a little bit ago, but I had some other games that I wanted to. Um, put ahead of this one. Uh, it's called Hue, and it's it's a puzzle game meets platformer with some pretty interesting twists from what I hear. I have not played it yet, so we're going to discover it together. And because it is New Game Wednesday, of course, the cocktail is unscripted. So tonight, I'm just having some Chardonnay because it's pretty warm here in California. So let's get into this. Already, just the screen and the music is Beautiful. Now, this game is on Steam. Uh, it's a bit pricier compared to the other games that we played. This one is $15.99, so let's see if it's deserving of that price. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so it looks like it's your standard WASD. Oh, this is pretty. Ah, oh, email! Dearest you. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. <laughs> Pun on names, mm. funny. Something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I okay. and found what is left of the ring. I don't know, my name isn't Frodo, but fuck it, let's see what we can do. Uh, the graphics are stunning. And the music is delightful. This character kind of reminds me a little bit of Game & Watch from Super Smash Bros. I'm <laughs> waiting for him to pull out the pan and make me some pancakes. I mean, granted, I'm not exactly a pancake kind of girl. I like waffles better than pancakes because it's like pancakes with some crunch. What's not to love? Especially bacon waffles. Those are the best. Okay, do we now start... Psych hello. Hey, ring rates, cool. I'm even making a lot of Lord of the Rings jokes. Fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Okay. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Coolio. Ah, my first one. Yay! I has the color blue. Oh, that's pretty. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. No, I'm Perhaps not a dog. Everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? 
this is why we're here. Oh, no, honey, I get that. So I want to get in there, but I guess I need the color yellow. So now that I can see blue, let's see what that opens up for us. Oh, hello. Hmm. Aha! This is cool. No! Still needs one more thing before I can get to there. Maybe it's in here. Hello, pink. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do anything until I have more colors. And right now, all I have is blue. That's right, I did it. Who cares? I'm saved. I feel like that's an appropriate response. Well, so happy I could help, Axe Picker. But I still need some more colors. Let's go here. enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Honey, that would be lovely, and in no time did we need that more than we need it now. But it's more about seeing the world for what it can be and actually doing something to get us there. And everyone owns a piece of that. I own it. Everyone owns it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Resting my legs. Okay. She didn't even blink an eye. I just changed the color all around her. She did not blink an eye. There we go. That's a bad place to stand, and that's a bad place to stand. But, oh, I see it now. We're gonna do this. I think. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> we can do neither. Oh, but wait. We can do this, and I'm gonna fall with it. Shit! <laughs> there 
Here we go. Just had to hit it in time. Hmm. What's nice about this game is it feels a little Zelda-y. I mean, you can see a, a path start to form, but it's going to let you kind of roam around and get your bearings. Um, I, unlike Zelda, I don't think you can walk into an area you're not, or your area you're going to die in, but clearly we're going to have to come back and re redo some of these areas once we get more colors. I like that feature. Thank you. Yes. Oh, this is a whole lot of death waiting for me. So we're gonna move this. And we're gonna change that. Come up here. See, like, clearly there's a ladder up there that we're gonna have to interact with at some point, but right now there's just no way for us to get there. Uh, we're gonna have to run. Alright, I see this. Oh! No, that will kill me. Alright. Balls to the walls, boys! Wow, we have to keep running. Go, 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 go! Ha <laughs> ha. Take that, boulder! Hooray! That doesn't give us a color? Ugh. Well, that sucks. I want to at least get us to another color so you can start to see how this game starts to unfold a little. Uh, no. And we're- hello. I win my staring contest! You'll get that. Oh, oh, okay. Am I about to play chess with death? That was a very boring movie. Yay! We have purple now. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many Trivial Pursuit jokes in my head. But see, I already got blue, and that's the one I sucked at most, which was sports. You know what? Let's change things to purple. Oh no, wait, let's change things to blue. Haha, -ha, see? There's a door. I like this mechanic. I think this is very cool. Did you know, Hugh? Purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. Duh, that's violet. Not technically that's indigo. Distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. Mm-hmm. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. In the color indigo? If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me. Do I even exist to you? Does it sure matter? I, do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. Yeah, it makes you it very makes you whiny. What is real? I'm not even gonna open that can of worms. Because there is no answer that will satisfy everyone. <laughs> ah. So what are we looking at here? First, oh, okay, hello. So that's a neat little trick. So when you open up the wheel, you can now see everything, which is cool. So I'm going to open up purple, which is going to allow me to cross. 
blue, which can allow me to cross there. Purple, which can allow me. So you would think it's not about can you see it or can you not see it, because I could be blind and this desk is still here. So you, you gotta suspend that reality a little bit to play this game. So of course I want blue to go away. Oh shit! God, you could breathe on this kid and he'd fall over. Oh, I see how to do this. I choose purple, it goes away. I choose blue, it comes back. And now I can cross. I want to get us to some kind of boss, but I don't know if we can before my camera gives out. Oh shit. Okay. Wait a minute, do I have to change it mid-air? I do. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, it's purple now, I need to change it to blue. That is a cool mechanic. Okay, dude, what are we doing here? Do, do you not like to talk? Have orange. The color that rhymes with nothing! Oh, that's pretty. Okay, you know what? I think here's a good place to end. So, pretty interesting game. Um, in love with the color, love the music. Uh, I think. <laughs> I feel like the designers really have a message that they're trying to carry across and not that it's not a good one, I just think they may be playing to the wrong audience. Um, if you want to get totally existential and what is life and what is reality, that's cool and all, um, but you're going to charge $15 for a game, you got to kind of pander to a more general audience. I mean, it's good to throw some of those tidbits in there to really start you thinking, but... This, this feels like it's pretty heavy-handed and it, it wants to be that, you know, you must ponder the essence of life. And not that I don't. I love it. I love getting to a philosophical debate about anything. But even for me, this feels a little heavy-handed. So curious to hear what you guys think about this game. I mean, it's very pretty. Um, I wish I could have gotten us to like something of a boss, but I feel like that's going to take upwards of an hour and I don't want you guys to have to sit through that. So if you guys get a chance to play it, definitely know, let me know what you think. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Would love to hear from you. Comments. I love you guys. And I will see you fabulous people in tomorrow's episode. Cheers.